This isn't about politics. This is about keeping our children safe. President Biden weighed in on a heated Williamson County School Board meeting where threats were made outside. Clashes over masks made national news. And today, a group of teachers staged a sick out to say enough is enough. One parent talked to News Channel 5's Alexandra Cohen. She says she's seen teachers and are caught in the middle of the mask mandate controversy. On the same day that elementary school students in Williamson County were supposed to come to school with masks, some teachers decided to not show up today or tomorrow. Katie Wooden is a former middle school teacher at Williamson County Schools parent. She says for some teachers, if they ask for a mask exemption, they worry it will look like they're going against directives. I don't know, you know, the pressures that they're facing, um, but I'm going to support them in their choice to do it. Other teachers feel stuck between following mask rules and meeting parental demands. We all need to be able to vocalize our opinions with kindness and respect and stop viewing things as us versus them. For Katie, she feels terrible that teachers are caught in the middle. We um, went through a miscarriage and um, lost a baby at 16 weeks and that angel of a human being helped my oldest daughter grieve through that and laminated a picture that she drew of that baby and let her keep it on her desk. Like, these are the people that are literally showing up for our kids every single day, and they should have the right to choose what they want to do with the mask. In an email I obtained, a district leader tells teachers that if they plan to participate in the sick out, they need to have a doctor's note. 121 employees were sick Thursday compared to 64 Monday. The district spokesperson says that's not out of the ordinary. Katie hopes teachers will know, despite the mass controversy, that they're appreciated. We love you. I'm so thankful for you. I'm in your corner. Reporting in Brentwood, Alexandra Cohen, News Channel 5. As for some of the aggressive behavior that happened outside the meeting, we're told the sheriff's office is investigating. Sheriff Rhodes says in part, quote, when expression crosses over into behavior that is violent, law enforcement's role is clear, and the Williamson County Sheriff's Office will intervene to address those criminal acts when observed or when they are brought to our attention.